All right, if you're here, we're, we're trying to work through the waiting room. We've got a lot of people who did not put first and last names as they were instructed to do so. And so we have to decide whether to admit them or not. Uh, it's logged in with only one name, and I, I need you to log in with two names. So Jack, Abigail, Holden, log in with two names, first and last name, please. It helps us know who we actually have in our meeting. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else I need to worry about that? Don't think so. Okay. All right. So I will do it this way. All right. I'm looking at the agenda now. We've designated our co-hosts. We have four chemistry teachers here. So all your needs should be taken care of in a reasonably rapid manner. Uh, first item on my agenda is assignment three. Due date was Saturday at midnight. Some of you may not have done that yet. And instead of trying to go forward with lesson four, you should really finish lesson three. Otherwise, the skills that you need just aren't there. Uh, so please, if you missed an assignment, finish it before you go forward. That's the way our instruction is structured. But online lesson four is now in your Google Drive. So let me pull that up. Uh, open document, online lesson four. Open, 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 open. Okay, here's online lesson four. Uh, I hope that you will not be confused that this title says lesson and the other title said assignment. Uh, I will try to be consistent in the future, but I did call this online lesson instead of online assignment. But you can see structurally, it is the same as what we've done before. There is a pretest and there's video instruction. Complete the first page using video instruction. So this is the first page and you can see it's gaining complexity. So you probably will need to do a lesson three before you do lesson four because it this assumes you know lesson three. Uh, but the, the video instruction will take you through this first page here showing you how do you deal with all these numbers and these calculations. And then after that, there are practice problems that doesn't have video instruction, but I did give you some hints. See, if you look at this, it says, I've given you a hint. Your answer should be within this range. So you'll know if you've done it terribly wrong, and then you should try again. All right, so that's the practice problems. And then at the very end is the link to the post test right there. And so that's how we'll be monitoring uh, your skill. The preliminary data on this is, okay. Um, all right, looks like we're, we're able to monitor that, great. I just saw somebody entered the waiting room, but boom, was taken care of, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, okay, what was I saying? I was saying, that preliminary data, we have very few respond, responses, but the preliminary data on the pretest is that this is a difficult, this is more difficult to, to do well on the pretest. I think the average was 1.8, but we have very few responses. So there's, there's a lot to learn here. Please take the time to learn it well rather than trying to rush through it. Do. All right, so due date for that is Wednesday at midnight. That's our standard method here. Uh, please do use a calculator or something that calculates for you. Dual screens will be a good idea for completing the page of video instruction. So the reason for that is that uh, there are places to put things in this document. And if you're watching the YouTube, then you may not be able to do both well on one screen. But if you're watching the YouTube on your phone, for example, and saying, okay, it tells me what to do here, uh, two screens may be a good idea. Now, let me show you a new technology that is mathematical equation writing. 
Uh, last week we did chemical equation writing, and now we're doing mathematical equation writing. So pay attention to my screen as I show you what that looks like. Mm. So uh, Google Docs has built in equation editing. So if you look where I'm at, I'm saying insert equation. And now I have these tools here. And for this lesson, I did a lot of proportions. So that means that you have these fractions, something on the bottom, something on the top. I'll make this big enough that you can see it. All right, so see, this is a tiny fraction here. I'll stretch it out so you can say, yeah, now that looks actually like uh, something on the bottom, something on the top. And so if I had something like, 20, uh, let me do an AM 6000, right? AM 6000, 58 grams of NaCl, that's the molecular weight of NaCl, is 6000 atoms. And you can see if I use the power of Google Docs, this looks beautiful, it's great, everything is in its place, and it's clearly math and not text. People, beginners, beginners with no skill, make things look like text when it's really math. So uh, you can do lots of things here. I will go here. I will do this again. Um, if you were doing math math, well, 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 bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Then you might say opposite of B, and then you say plus or minus, that's going to be here. Nope, it's going to be here. Plus or minus is a tool. I guess it's fine here, right? And then you say, I want a square root. And you can do square root of uh, b squared, well, b hat. See, all these functions are in here. And uh, nope, I did it wrong. Uh, so you can make nice equations. For us, it's pretty simple. It's proportions. And so use, use what I've given you. If you look at the online lesson, I put these things already in here. So you can fill it out on your computer by just typing in the numbers. <laughs> right? So use, use, use what I've given you, and it'll look beautiful. It'll look beautiful. All right, I am going to pause and ask for any questions with what I've already presented. So I am looking for someone to raise a hand to ask a question. Okay, there are no questions that I can see. I will proceed. All right, so this is a pretty good Google Doc. It's fillable, so you can type things in here. Um, okay, so you have your copy of this document that you'll be filling out, and so you could do a lot with the document, have it filled out, save it for your own reference, and I tried to make it easy for you, and, and so use, uh, so I hope it'll work. I hope it'll work, I hope it'll work. All right, going back to my agenda, that's online lesson number four. That's what I've just talked about. Uh, we did all that. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow, balancing equations tournament on Tuesday. Sign up to compete. So I'm hoping we'll have uh, at least 10 people compete. 16 is a nice number because then you do your elimination, you do the round of 16 and the round of eight and four, and then you have a champion pretty soon. Um, and we can do more than two at a time if we have a large enough number. So let me show you the document where you can sign up. It's not essential that you sign up before, uh, but this is the document. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. We, we lost six, whoever that was. So we have seven right now. 
And I'm hoping a few more of you will say, yes, I want to compete. Uh, it'll be fun. And uh, if you're not, ooh, Flynn is here on this document, beautiful. And if, if, if you just wanna watch the competition, that's fine too. There was a, an article in the LA Times this morning saying, when there are no sports outside in real life, you do esports. So we're doing an esport balancing chemical equations. Let's see who the champion is. All right. And so once we have the, as I said, you don't need to sign up beforehand. We'll tomorrow at this time, we'll say who wants to compete and we'll arrange the, the brackets accordingly. I was thinking it might be um, good to, for us to have uh, for the, for the championship to have one, to have three people, to have three people uh, for the finals. I'm just writing this out as an idea. Uh, maybe one, oh, maybe we could do four, I don't know. Okay, it depends how we do it. Question mark, um, one Myers. This would be fun, I think. Uh, one Duong, or maybe, yeah, yeah. It's just an idea, one Perkins. So you'd have the, uh, the pride of saying, well, my team was a winner. And so that could be interesting. All right, format for the competition. It's level three of the fat balancing equations game. I'll remind you what that looks like. If I can do that here, I can. P-H-E-T, balancing chemical equations. So a lot of you did this last week and you submitted your scores and it's beautiful, and it's, it's, it's going to be a nice challenge here. We'll, we'll play the game, we'll play the game, and we'll do level three, which is the challenging one. And uh, you know, you'll be saying speed, speed, speed balancing. Oh my goodness, is this right, is this right? <laughs> Wrong, okay. So, um, don't know how fast you can go, but, the that'll be the, the tournament and it'll be fun to watch i think uh so it'll be level three we'll do five minutes there are five equations in the set and so our time limit will be five minutes if nobody well if we go the full five minutes the highest score at the end will win will win the round so there's 10 points possible if you got every single one correct you get 10 points uh, and so if you got eight points and the other people only got six, then you're the winner. Uh, but if we have somebody finishing with a perfect score in less than five minutes, then the shortest time will win. So if you're saying, I got 10 points in four minutes and five seconds, and you got 10 points in four minutes and 32 seconds, the four minute, five seconds, that's the winner. Uh, if we have a tie, this is what it means. If there's no clear winner at the end of regulation, we ended the five minutes, we have maybe two people who scored eight. Uh, then we do a sudden death overtime where we just start a new problem and it's the first to score. Okay, we're not going the full five minutes, we're not going for our problem, it's just bam, I scored, I win. All right, uh, so once again, I'll pause and see are there any questions about that. Ooh, Trey has a question. Let's unmute Trey. Hey, um, how do you sign up for the uh, competition? All right, to sign up, there's a tiny URL on my screen, and that will take you to the shared document. Okay, thank you. I believe this is also a live link, and I don't know, remember which document. I got so many documents, but the tiny URL will get you there. And as I said, if, if you wanna, want to participate and you weren't able to get your name on the page, then uh, we'll just allow you to sign up on the spot tomorrow, but good. All right, maybe Trey's name will appear here soon. Beautiful. Okay, gonna lower Trey's hand. Anybody else with a question?
All right, then I'm going to go forward and get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay, so that's Tuesday is going to be the tournament. Uh, Wednesday, this picture is Dr. Samantha Piskevich. She was an LBHS student about 10 years ago. So ACR is my advanced chemical research class. She did really well in that class. She went on to Caltech for her undergraduate and got a PhD in biochemistry at University of North Carolina. So she's going to give a talk on Wednesday, a webinar. You know, scientists, when they talk, they usually call it a seminar. But if you put it through the web, then it's a webinar. And so she's going to do a webinar through Zoom uh, on Wednesday. So this same meeting time, you'll be able to talk with a professional scientist. So she's at UC Berkeley right now, and they are, due to coronavirus, they're on hiatus. So she's not able to work in her lab up there. Uh, but she's interested in sharing her love of science with you all, and maybe you have questions and you can ask her. It's a great opportunity. She's, she, as you can see, she's a young person. She's not like me, not an old fogey. Um, but let me show you what this word is because you probably don't know. A tardigrade. And okay, here's a, here's a picture on my screen of a tardigrade. This is maximum magnification. So it looks really like a weird, made up creature but it's a real living thing on our planet and this is probably 10,000 x maybe i'm exaggerating maybe it's only a thousand x a thousand times magnification uh, so they're small they're small microscopic creatures uh, but they can survive extreme conditions so they can be frozen and any normal creature would be frozen solid here, but the tardigrade survives. And you can throw them in boiling water and the tardigrade survives. And you can put them at the bottom of the ocean and the tardigrade survives. And they can even be in space where there's no air and extremely cold and there's a lot of radiation and the tardigrade survives. So I love this quote here. Um, this is excerpted, so it doesn't quite give you the right context. But the quote is, to our surprise, we found that although nearby supernovas or large asteroid impacts would be catastrophic for people, tardigrades could be unaffected. Uh, so that's what Dr. Piskevich will talk about on Tuesday. She did research exploring how do they do it? How do they survive? And so this will be a great opportunity for you to uh, see what does real science research look like and uh, have somebody as i said share share her love of science with you all right so that's happening wednesday once again i'll pause to see if there are any questions so if you have a question please raise your hand I see we're doing a little better on the first and last names. So thank you all who have uh, added a last name. Holden, you're still not doing it right. <laughs> Joey, please add a last name to yours as well. So not right now necessarily, but next time. All right, I am not seeing any raised hands. So let me go back to my agenda. Tardigrades. Okay, so now, uh, number seven, breakout rooms with individual teachers. So this will be an opportunity for you to be unmuted and talk with each other and talk with your teacher. Uh, you may have questions about any of the things I've talked about, uh, or you may just want to chat and say, how was your weekend? But let's do that now. So, going to, oh, okay, breakout rooms, there we go. Let's assign people into four rooms manually. Okay, so I'm the only one who can do this, uh, but I'll try to do it fairly quickly. Okay, it'll be four rooms. 
Breakout room number one will be mine. Do 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 Okay, that's some people from period one and period six. And I'll get people on a second round. Okay. Good, 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 All right, my room is done. Breakout room number two will be Mr. Myers. Mr. Myers gets quite a few people. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's Mr. Myers' class right there. Boom. Breakout room number three will be Mr. Duong's room. Mr. Duong, where are you? There you are. Good. Okay. Okay, I think that's right. Breakout room four will be Mrs. Perkins. And I think that's right. Uh, and if I did it wrong, then I'll be learning your names because it's easy for my students, but with Mr. Duong's and Ms. Bergen's students, I'm doing a little bit of guessing. Okay, I'm opening the rooms. Please join your teacher in that room. I get to see the little green dots going. Boom, 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 boom. There they go, lots of little green dots. I should have asked, huh? Oh, I don't know who Acacia is. Okay. All right, looks like we've got some nice rooms. I'm going to break out room number one. Okay, I'm going to unmute all. Hi, Mr. Sogo. Hello, Joey. Hi, Mr. Sogo. Hello, Oliver, good to see you. Hi, Mr. Sogo. Hello, Anna, okay, awesome. <laughs> Why does your your tag Frank say Luke was here? No, I'm not sure. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay, you don't know. That's funny. All right. How are y'all doing? Good. 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 How's your morning? Yeah. What's that? How's your morning? Um, this morning I'm doing all right. I'm working on IC twenty twenty. Uh and I I think I'm I'm getting close to the major breakthrough that will make things work. So I'm hoping that by the time you come back from spring break, which is two weeks from now, then I'll have uh, I'll have a working game for you, which will be fun to play. And we're going to try to do it head-to-head uh, -head competition. So you're not not playing against the computer; you're playing against another human. And uh, so we could do a, a proper tournament of the uh, the crown jewels game. So that might be fun. So go. Yes, Joey. Are we going to have school like next week or no? Uh, so, so next week is the spring break, right? Next week is spring break, April 6 to 10. There's no school, so there'll be no assignments. Right. And you will be able to, I don't know what you can do. Uh, you're limited to whatever you can do. Yeah, you, 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 can, you can play games, you can watch TV, you can read, you can walk around the block. Um, Yesterday I got to ride my bike at least for uh, for it wasn't it wasn't a really long ride but, but it was five miles and that's that's better than I've done in a while. That's fun. Yeah, and the weather's been good, so we planted a garden here at home. We have zucchini and eggplant, and I planted fava beans, which is uh, never grown that before. But I saw them in England last summer. I said, what is this strange plant? And it turned out it's fava beans. And then I bought some at, at the local market. And I said, I like fava beans. So 
we'll see how that grows. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take pictures and show them to you uh, over spring break and say, here's how my garden grew. Yes. <laughs> okay. How are you, Mariana? I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Yeah, I I I I took home my uh, standing desk. So if you see me rocking a little bit, I'm now instead of sitting while I do my class, I, I stand, and that's a lot better for me. Uh, I don't, you know, you never never teach when you're sitting down. So this feels much more natural, though still really weird to say, you know, I don't get enough feedback, huh? I don't, I don't get enough feedback from my students. All right. Um, I also hope I'll have some, some more at-home experiments for you to do. A large, uh, not a large number, but a number of you, particularly in this meeting, huh, uh, did the, the airbag challenge. And it was fun to see the videos. So. Do you know whether you can see what the other students did? Yeah, you can. Yeah. My number suggested that people were watching other people's videos. Some of them had, had, you know, 25, 35 views. So, and that wasn't me. So, okay. So uh, maybe if you're not sure whether you would like to do it, you know, it's still open for you to do. And there is, there is in Aries. How many of you have looked at Aries? Yeah, go ahead and go, if, if I can see you, raise your hand, and then and, and if you haven't looked at Aries, then uh, you can see that I put columns in there for the different assignments. It's not essential that you do all of them. Uh, for example, the, the airbag challenge. I know some of you can't do it. You don't have the materials. But I'm just keeping track of what people are doing, and I'm, I'm concerned about people that seem to disappear. Either they never started doing any of them or they, they started, you know, the assignment number one was done and two was done, but not three or four. That, that'll be a cause of concern for me and I'll try to figure out why. All right, so any questions for me? I don't think so. I have a question, Mr. Sogo. Is that, who is that? Josiah. 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 Okay. What's your question, Josiah? So I pr I did all of the assignments like physical. I printed them out. So uh -huh. how do you want me to send those in? Um, I don't need to see your work on the papers. So uh, some people have sent it to me, and I say okay, thank you, but it's not required by any means. So I am keeping track of your progress through the Google Forms host tests which is fast and easy for me to see, okay, who did, who did this, who didn't do this, how well did people do? So if you want to send me your work, you, you can send me an email, but you don't have to as long as you're completing the post test. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the question. All right, no more questions? All right, I'm going to leave this room. You can talk with each other if you like, uh, but you can also just, just say bye-bye if you like. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll come back in about five minutes probably. I'm going to visit the other rooms that, where the other teachers are. So I'll be back in five minutes. If you're still here, I'll talk to you. If you're not, then thank you for being here this morning, and I hope to see you tomorrow for our tournament. Bye, Mr. Sogo. Bye, Mr. Sogo. All right, bye-bye. Mr. Sogo. Mr. Sogo. Bye. Hi, let's, do, let's do a GoFundMe. <laughs> All right, how are we doing here? Good, good. It's working okay. well. Okay. Uh, are you, Mr. Myers, able to share your screen or do you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I assume I can. Uh, let's see. Let me try it out. I see something. Yep. Okay. Okay, looks like that works. Okay, great. Yeah. So, as 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 uh, as a co-host, you can do that, and mm -hmm. that's that's perfect. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, okay. So, no questions for me. Nope. Yeah, we're all good. All right. Good to see you all here this morning, and hope to see you tomorrow for our tournament.
All right, I'm going to visit the other breakout rooms now. Bye bye. <laughs>that's that's totally fine um what you want to do is have you know when you watch the instructional video you want the video playing and you want to see the assignment itself so you can follow along at the same time so either you have a big computer screen and you can see both at the same time or print it out that's up to you so yes that's fine okay good good uh good advice mr duong yeah that's what i was trying to say with the dual screens uh when i'm working on my computer programming I often do that because I've got my video here but I'm typing here and uh, I can't see both at the same time on my laptop screen yeah okay good any questions that that you need me to answer no okay all right then thank you all for being here and I hope to see you tomorrow for our tournament okay bye, -bye now okay uh